Hi there. We have the Focket Bunny up and running. So today, we're going to be installing the Nine Lives Racing version 2 straight wing. Um, I couldn't find any information on installing it onto a NA chassis. There is a great write-up about throwing it onto an NB. First things first, we need to open up the trunk and get to marking where this thing's going to sit. Another reason why we're installing this uh, with this light is they are calling for rain all day tomorrow. And uh, I really want to get this on now, so. And Tyler can't wait. I can't. So we're going to measure from the very bottom. And go up three and a half inches, which is roughly about there. And then I'll use a ruler to give me kind of a straight edge. Even though the car is crooked. Yep. Or at least kind of a straight line. So roughly that's where we're going to marked out so same thing on this side so next we are going to be taking the provided spacers and marking out the next two holes so using this what you want to do is you want to have this press against the bottom so that it's flat and then we'll probably move this up so that I can get the marker in there a little bit better but we'll mark these so holes what is this line up to the this edge is, this is just a spacer it doesn't line up to anything. So why did you mark this line? Because that's the three and a half inch mark. And then we're using this to make the other guide holes. Okay, so we're going to be using the provided spacer to match up and find the other holes. So what you want to do is place it down flat and try and get it right into the center because this is going to line up the other holes. So here, watch out so I can get my big old hit in there lined up to me. We have it all the way flat down. Yep. Like you said. So next I'm using the center punch. Well technically it's not a center punch, but it's our center punch what we have available, okay? I mean, still, I thought we bought one, but apparently we did not. It's like you know where I'm gonna put the camera. So, so I you, put my big old hide. fat head in there? <laughs> Here, I'll try and be all... No, you're good. Can't get in, get in the camera view. Obviously, before you drill the hole, if you haven't taken this off yet, the weather stripping, you're going to want to take it off so you don't drill a hole in it because these babies are like 80 bucks to $100. So I'm using the 1 8 drill bit, and I'm going to make a pilot hole, and then we'll bump it up to the 3 8 Hope this is correct because there's no going back now. Oh, well, whatever. It's all right. It's a rusty chassis anyways. Oh, my God. You did it now. Oh, you don't did it now. Drilling holes in the car again. Yeah, so be careful of this happening. I don't, it's kind of hard to tell, but Tyler just went under there and it kind of popped this up. Yeah, it, pu it grabbed the drill bit and pushed it through. Yeah, so. so be very careful, especially on this lower side. I mean, this was my car, I'd be pissed off, but. Nobody cares. <laughs> right, Tyler. What? Can't can't hear you over how little I care about this. So the next thing I'm gonna use is the deburring tool to take off any edges that I have. That way the bolts and everything sit flush. And I'm gonna vacuum! Because I'm a woman. Oh my god. I notice one side is skinnier than the other side. Skinny side towards the front, big side towards the back. So, definitely helps to have two hands on this. I just threaded these in 
And then I'm gonna go onto the backside and kind of snug them up just by hand. Just for some perspective. Holy crap. Yeah. So it doesn't quite sit with the body line then. It kind of sits with the like top. Yeah. Really. So don't put it on the wrong way. You want the gurney flap in the back. Gurney flap in the back. That's what she said. Mm, uh, mm, mm, mm. I'm such a good rap artist. <laughs> so that album coming out <laughs> February 30th of next year. So with both of these loose, what we're gonna do is we're gonna install the wing onto this, and then we'll tighten it up from there. So now with the airfoil on, what we can do is finally tighten these up. I'm going to do it kind of slowly on both sides and then we'll lock it all down. Another thing that you absolutely have to make sure that you do is trim this because if I were to put this down right now, it would actually hit this. So as you can see, there's enough clearance. So this is about how much I think that I need to take off. I am just going to use a angle grinder with a sanding wheel and just kind of taper this out. I'm going to start here on this edge and work my way in and round that off. I don't believe I need to go up past the curve, but if I have to, that's fine. But I'm going to start on this side, then we'll do the other one. So you've got to trim all the way up to where this is. That's what Tyler's going to do. Would you say a sixteenth of an inch? Yeah, one sixteenth. So originally looking at it, I thought I only had to trim this back portion here. You actually have to do the full 12 inches of the mount. So I kind of marked it out and I just made a small little area of what I need to grind down. So I'm going to bring this down and then leave room so I could kind of finesse it to make sure that everything looks flush and then I'll round off everything else. So now you would put some touch-up paint on here but we don't care so we're gonna just tape off as much as we can and then just spray it with some primer. That's good. We're eventually painting the car so it doesn't really matter. a lot sturdier than I was expecting. Every spoiler is going to move, um, but overall the thing fits in there great. I didn't realize when I first bought this how much you really need to trim on your trunk. It is a full 12 inches and you can see I just cleared enough, but I'm okay with that because this car we don't care about. I'm excited to test this thing out and see how it actually feels, but it's nighttime and tomorrow it's raining, so we'll get some more footage of it out on the road, but that is how you install that. If you guys have any comments or questions, make sure to put them down below. Hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time.